Hey guys, how you doing today? Uh, I'm out here in the shop, just wanted to do a real quick test. Uh, one thing I've never really done before is uh, milled any sort of aluminum, and technically I'm not going to mill it today. Uh, I'm going to start off small, baby steps. Um, two things I'm going to do. I've got a piece of uh, 6 by 12 quarter inch 6061 aluminum, and I'm actually practicing for uh, another project somebody wants me to do for them, but um, I'm going to do a little bit of drag engraving on it with my uh, drag bit and I'm also going to attempt to do some engraving with a 90 degree carbide bit. Um, <laughs> we'll see how it turns out. I've been looking online. Hopefully uh, hopefully I've, I've got it down to where I'm not going to ruin anything over here. But uh, come on down here to the bench real quick and I'll show you the uh, bits I'm going to use. Okay, so the first bit I'm going to attempt to use is this little 90 degree uh, solid carbide bit by Whiteside. Um, I'm only going to be engraving it to 0 0.0125. Uh, hopefully, you know, if the board is flat, it'll actually engrave. If not, you know, this is just a test and we'll see. The second one is going to be this drag bit. You know, it's got the little springy diamond tip bit in there. Uh, this you're not going to mess up. It's just a matter of whether or not uh, the results are what you intended in your uh, engraving. Uh, so, uh, like I said, we also have our aluminum plate here that we're going to attempt to use. Um, these are like 14 bucks on uh, eBay. So, this is a $14 test. Hopefully, I don't ruin it too much. So, let's get this thing going and uh, hope I don't break anything. Okay, well I wouldn't call that a raging success, but uh, I would say that uh, it wasn't too bad. So from back here, what you can uh, probably tell is that there's a discoloration between this half and this corner. And if you remember in the uh, previous video, you saw me putting oil on there. Well, apparently you need oil to cut aluminum or some sort of a uh, lubricant. Uh, good idea. Um, so mistake number one, learn from that one. Uh, but uh, all things considered, I uh, I believe that turned out okay. I uh, can't get in too much closer. I won't want to focus there, but there we go. It's kind of a diamond, diamond serrated type crosshatch pattern. Uh, I notice up here it's extremely sharp and, and edgy and down here it's uh, it's fairly smooth so yeah my mistake was I didn't use any sort of oil when I began that so next time I'll know uh, use some sort of lubricant without hesitation all right let's get on to the drag bit
Okay, so <clears throat> it's officially done. Phone ringing. All right, let's take this thing off here. We'll go blow it off, and uh, we'll see what uh, what we did here. I think uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, the drag engraving, I'm not too worried about. That's pretty much the same no matter how you do it. Uh, it's the uh, engraving with the uh, V bit that I did that is what I was really concerned about. Uh, go blow this off real quick and uh, we'll bring it back. Hmm. All right, well, there's our finished product. Uh, not too bad. Uh, can't uh, seem to earn a uh, play button from YouTube uh, in any uh, decent amount of time, so I'll make my own. And uh, I'll just have to live with that. Anyway, uh, that's it, guys, and uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, hopefully, uh, be able to do some more aluminum videos here uh, before too long and uh, try out some new things, figure out what I uh, did wrong with this one, and uh, go from there. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and uh, you guys have a nice day.